I had higher dimensional or mystical experiences made me feel I understood how everything worked. everything started to get really strange. The temple at the head of the valley started to look like a machine and these silver blob things emerged from the walls and from the substance of the ceiling and the floors. And they said, right, you, you asked for it. And they go, where do you want to go? And I said, oh, fuck, Alpha Centauri. And suddenly I had no body, I like, couldn't, there's no reference point and I'm in space. And there's three suns, there's a planet and there's these th things made out of glowing neon tubes. And they just said, well, you've offended these people. This is what you came for, this is what you wanted, isn't it? I'm going to show you something. And how it felt and how I remember it has been taken off the surface of the third dimension. It felt infinite but it also felt enclosed, blue, azure blue and all these silvery blob things and they just, this, this is, oh, I just woke up, oh, what, what, the game's over, what did you just do to me, I was just, I was having fun, and it was more real than any of this, it's like low res 1950s TV, this world we live in compared to this experience, and they said, right, what we do is we grow our children in universes because there's no time here, it's all, it's, it's, it's permanent, three and a half billion years ago a single cell divided, because, you know, what kind of hyper-intelligence would you be if you didn't understand pain or anger or hatred? Christ walks in the room, call the light, and then suddenly it's Christ, and he said, I am not the God of your fathers, I am the hidden stone that breaks all hearts. But that was a really weird, it was occult times, you know, things were happening in the wake of that encounter in Kathmandu, because it was like surfing a wave, it was really quite weird. I still do that magic and occult stuff. Because the whole idea is right, it's not, there's no rules to this, it's just what works. Chaos magic says, like, if you do certain things, certain changes occur in your consciousness. Let's just call it magic. As long as you summon up an energy that stands for whatever, you get the same effect. When you're angry, you're possessed by the god of war. It's just connecting with the eternal life. So I, I was testing this stuff, I thought, you can conjure these just states of mind to the point where you feel like a god is taking over. I got caught up with these voodoo scorpion things. I remember having this weird fucking vision and there's gigantic scorpions with semi-human faces surrounding me and they were showing me how to destroy human spirits that I was maybe wandering into areas that I wasn't equipped to, to, to properly deal with. Just again making these better, fundamentally positive, would inspire people. It's always the pivot point of my fucking life. Examined it from every angle. What if you're wrong? What if it's some fucking weird temporal lobe hallucination? And then you come to even more interesting ideas. So that means if you have temporal lobe epilepsy, you have an experience of the entire universe as being one singular thing and it's all expanding and all has meaning and significance, shouldn't we be pressing that button? So even if it's most physical and it's most material, shouldn't we be fucking pressing that button? Because it makes us feel better and it gives meaning to more things. I don't think it's saying, I think it's something everyone can do. I actually just think it's a matter of perspective, but it helps you see things better. I feel it changed my soul. It was, everything was different. Everything, my relations to time and death. And it, it felt absolutely, there is no doubt that's what it was when I was there. Chaos magic says, like, if you do certain things, certain changes occur in your consciousness. But I had higher dimensional or mystical experiences made me feel I understood how everything worked.